All right, this is Briar's first time being milked. She's been on the platform and she's eaten some grain and we've put the Sir Single on her before, but she's never been milked. She calved last night at 10 o'clock and we just hand milked to get some milk into a bottle for the calf. And now we're gonna see how this goes. We wanna show you the good and the bad of milking a heifer for the first time. Oh, you did so good! 
good. All right. We better stand here for a minute. We're done. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Okay. Okay, well, that went really well. We probably could have gotten a little bit more milk out, but with the edema, you just don't want to push our luck. She did really well, so we didn't want to make this a stressful time for her, so we took what milk we could get, and maybe Jay could show us in the bucket how much milk she had. And you might have seen that we were massaging, Jay was massaging the top of her rear udder just to help with let down. I got about three pounds out of her this morning, but we've milked her twice by hand already, so... Yep, and she has a little teeny tiny udder. She's not exactly, <laughs> you know... But she was willing to give it to us, so that was wonderful. Yep. So in case where a heifer is just learning to milk and having a lot of edema, you can milk them three times a day. So we're kind of doing that in that we're feeding the calf. And we're just, um taking, you know, half a bottle to a bottle's worth off of her by hand milking. Sometimes that's just really low stress for the cow and it gets the calf fed and it kind of works for everybody. But, you know, eventually she does need to learn how to use the machine. And so this was great. It gave her the idea without the machine being on there for an hour and stressing her out. Not that we would leave it on nearly that long, but we'll try her again tonight. It's about 11 a.m. right now. And we'll come back maybe around 6 or 7 this evening. And we'll try her again and keep feeding her calf. And hopefully we'll get a little bit more tonight to where we could freeze some colostrum. If we had extra from this first milking, this would be the great time to freeze any extras you have. But it's okay if you don't. A heifer doesn't always milk a lot. And especially the genetics that we use, you know, we let them start out slow so she's not going to be a super high producer this time but that's our goal we don't want milk fever and ketosis and things like that so we'll just say goodbye to Broger and job well done thank you for watching